Hey everybody, these are school buses in front of PS228. Attorney General Andrew Cuomo came here in 2009. I believe it was March or something like that. Oh no, that was in early February. PS268. PS268. Okay? He came here. The Attorney General did. And right here across the street is where Funny Green is. At the Highland Chair nursing home where you see that flag at right here that big building right up there you mean to tell me after I gave your attorney general that much information and evidence that this woman was robbed was embezzled out of twenty thousand eight hundred and fifty eight dollars then left in her apartment with the gas stove on for four hours while they had knowledge it was there for four hours that's a Nazi copycat crime oh first of all she's in a ghetto New York City Housing Authority only has ghettos Okay? That's a German word, ghetto. Who brought it to America? You understand what I'm saying? And then they put her right here. And I showed your attorney general. Gave him all the evidence. And there it is, right here. There it is, right here. There it is, right there. Highland Care Center, 91-31, 175th Street. Let me show you the horror inside. Hello, today is Saturday, March 12th, 2011. This is Mrs. Franny Green. This is the woman. Her leg's been amputated. And then, you see? That's what somebody looks like over there. This room gets $140,000 a year. How you doing, Miss Green? Can you talk? How you feeling? She doesn't eat anything. She's fed to her too. She shits on herself in the pamper. And this is her roommate. See that? This is Mrs. Green. This is the woman that was embezzled out of $20,858 and allowed him to be in her apartment for four hours with the gas stove on. That's a Nazi copycat crime, Mayor Bloomberg. That's what you covered up. That's what you covered up. That's what all you politicians have covered up. Hello, uh, State Senator Huntley. You care for seniors. What about this one? Talk to him, Mrs. Green. Tell him something. Tell him to save me. Because I'm the one that saved your life. Tell somebody to save me, please. Look at her. She's trying. She's trying to move. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. This is the reason why I fight so hard for you black people. My black people. And everything I've ever said to you was because if I didn't care, I wouldn't have done this. This is sad. This is very sad. $20,858 and she was left in her apartment with the gas stove on for four hours and they knew about it on 316.06 FDNY AMT call log number 21, 2140. What is this? And you retaliate against me and punish me? This room makes $140,000 a year. It's warehousing people. And they're all neglected. Look at this. Look at this. See? Okay. I gotta preserve the dignity of these people. That's why I got to end this now. They tried to kill her to cover up stealing her money and brought her here. That means visiting their service was involved. The district attorney's office is guilty. Detective Bernie Porter and ADA Khadija Mohammed Stalling. You have adult protective services and human resources guilty. You've got Creedmoor Psychiatric Legal Services that did nothing. Okay? This hospital even knew because this home district because I gave them the information. But the seventy thousand dollars a year was more important than the twenty thousand stirring up a bunch of crap because they wanted to kill this woman. And now she warehouse here. Come on, man. Come on, man. My heart pulls.
goes out for this woman, that's why I'm the only guy that can, that's ever come to see her. The only visitor she's ever had. Check the log. Check the log. This is a crime against humanity. Mayor Bloomberg, this is a Nazi copycat crime victim. What did you do? She's not a cute Jewish grandmother. That's why she's neglected. And your black servants will lynch my black ass for you. But you'll do the political lynching. Thanks a lot, guys. Y'all have a nice day. Say hi to Mrs. Green. That's your victim. Live from New York City. Hello. Housing Authority chuck full of crooks. The agency is plagued by employee crime. By Adam, Adam Lisberg. Daily News. Then what we have are numerous stories about the Forty Green embezzlement and the retaliation against the housing whistleblower Philip Edward Dreis. We continue to right here, it says here, this is why Congressman Meeks can't get away saying he doesn't have any information by the Smith sending it back to me, it says right here, right where this arrow is, right here. Um, also, Mr. Dry says he has turned over all the pertinent evidence to the staff member of Congressman Greg Gregory Meeks. A phone call to the Congressman's office confirmed that Mr. Dry has been meeting with a staff member and they are in possession of letters and other documents. Bingo. Busted Congressman's office. And this right here. That's what gave me the name Housing Whistleblower. Donald Winkfield. He's the guy that busted Carrick and his exposés. Here it is right here. Housing whistleblower retaliated against. Okay? In the Black Star News. That's the salute of a real man. It goes on for a couple of pages and then we have Mr. Obama. Yes, we can. I was campaigning for him because I want to get justice by any means necessary. And the only way I can do that is to show the judgments and orders that I won. And here they are, Justice Golia. Okay, this is dated 1-3-2008. This is another one dated um, July 20, June 29, 2009, after I beat Byron Metagakis in, in that trial so bad. And here it is right here. He said, Justice Golia said, this is not over. All right, this is the appellate division win right here for me to implead Michael R. Bloomberg. He knows this is a Nazi copycat crime covered up by a Jewish mayor. What do you want me to tell you? This is the Veterans Administration letter that told the congressman back in 2009. There was, yeah, in two, November 2009 to refer this case to state and federal law enforcement. And they slandered my name to say I was suffering from delusions of grandeur. They tampered with the evidence, took the evidence, and took some whatever parts of something and sent it to the uh, to the FBI, which was done by the congressman's office. And they set up Kim Fuller. Real nice friends. There goes September 16 to Congressman Meeks. Another letter from the Veterans Administration. This is Supreme Court Justice Thomas's order and judgment appointing me as guardian of my mother. And here is my address right here. Bingo. So I was living there prior to that and they know it. But all of that was covered up. And Judge Maria Rezos is in a whole lot of trouble. And this is the law. This is the June, July 11, 2003 policy change. That is how I caught Mayor Michael R. Bloomberg in his redlining scheme. Bingo. I qualify. And I got the judgments. I'm a French green card guy. That the African Americans came after me because I was a foreigner. And took me for being stupid and dumb. They want black power. And it's degrading so bad because they can't keep people in their, in their district. So they, they're going to a smaller and smaller market to harvest. This is the letter from my from my boss, Gary Leonardo, that says this would have cost at least seventy five with the appellate division. That's a hundred thousand dollars worth of work that I done. Bingo, here's the housing whistleblower with the Obama buttons. That's the guy that campaigned for the president. That's the housing whistleblower. Since he was the housing uh, 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 senator and all of that stuff, a uh, housing guy in, in, in Chicago, I thought that was the guy to help me. 
Let's see. Now, see this? The Census Bureau appointment is contested by the whistleblower because Mayor Bloomberg, with low Ricky Ricardo Morales right here, can appoint Stacey Cumberbatch, the former chief of staff of NYCHA, to be the Census Coordinator. And there goes the former head secretary. Okay, HPD commissioner becomes HUD secretary, which is Mr. Sean Donovan. Him and Mr. John Beer have a real, very nice, cozy relationship. This is the letter to Michael R. Bloomberg, where I told him, your administration, not, administration must, not, must not be allowed to flourish at this time. You must never be allowed to again in public service. And I don't give a flying fuck boulevard what you do or how you do it, brother. Okay, this is the notice it shall now update my newsletters. Tenant Association, this is my petition to go on strike against NYCHA. Okay? And it's been it's been white people. It's been white people that have helped me here. Every other black politician or black guy in power has been nothing more than a black nigger traitor to his freaking race on this issue with me that cost me everything I own, everything I have, and I'm writing a book about it. And it's coming out. This is my bio. Okay? Because at the end of the day, at the end of the day, what we want is we want answers from this guy. And what did he know? When did he know it? What did he do about it? About how HUD has allowed NYCHA's hands to be unleashed with no competent oversight on the remaining family member issue and the administrative process that must be given by federal law. This is not a joke. I didn't go to get a legal education for nothing. I don't want to be no lawyer. I don't want to practice law. I actually want to sell breath testers. Okay? But what do you want? You guys, what you guys did, you all really pissed me off when you disrespected my mother. When you disrespected my mother that called her son some kind of freaking thief that stole from a dead woman, you made a big, big, big mistake. Guess what? I got me another one now. A surrogate mother. Love me to death. <laughs> I told you. I had a big surprise for you. How do you like me now? Bye bye. I think all you guys got a lot of explaining to do. You all have a nice day. Bye bye.